So how do you actually short shares in the Thinkorswim platform? In this video, I'm gonna give you the walkthrough of how to use Thinkorswim to short a company. Hey, how's it going? On this channel, you will learn the steps it takes to make a full-time income trading in the stock market. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And today, we're shorting shares in the Thinkorswim platform. So first off, let's give a quick intro into how shorting works. So normally when you buy a stock, you are buying it at 90 and let's say you want to take profits when it gets to 100. So you buy it at 90 here and the stock goes up to 100. Now you have made, when you sell it at 100 and bought it at 90, you have made $10. And you bought it here and sold it here. Now shorting is basically just that flipped. When the stock is trading at 100, and let's say you think it's gonna to go to 90, you actually sell it at 100, and then when the stock goes down to 90, you buy it back. Now, that can be a little confusing just because it's kind of counterintuitive, but the main thing is here you wanna understand is that both times the net change was $10, so you made $10 a share. And it doesn't really matter which direction the stock goes as long as you're betting in the right direction. Now, sometimes people get a little confused with how shorting actually works, where you actually have to borrow shares from someone who owns them, and then you sell them to someone else, which creates your short position. But that doesn't matter too much. The main thing is you want to understand that when you're shorting, you're betting that it goes down. And also, you just want to be and you want to be trading exactly like you do when you're betting that the stock is going to go up. You want to have a profit target. You also want to have a stop loss. A lot of people get scared by the fact that people say, oh, you have unlimited risk when you're shorting a stock because the stock can go to infinity. But that doesn't really happen in reality. The main thing is that you just want to be aware that you're going to lose money if the stock goes up and you're going to make money if the stock goes down. Another good way to think about this is if you're buying shares for a long position, your account will always have plus, let's say plus 10 shares. And so to close that position, you're gonna to wanna to neutralize that. So you're gonna go minus 10 shares. And so that's gonna equal zero shares in your account. And then when you're shorting, it's just gonna be the opposite. You're gonna have minus 10 shares to begin with. And then to close your position, you're gonna go plus 10 shares. And again, that is gonna equal out to zero shares in your account. So if you're ever a little confused with you know, closing a position, what you need to do. Just think about it as simple math. How do you make zero shares in your account? So to actually do this in Thinkorswim, let's go to this Bank of America chart we have right here. Now, not all stocks can actually be shorted. Generally, you wanna just stick to the larger stocks. And if you're wanting to short a particular stock, I would definitely look it up to see if there are shares to short. And sometimes stocks won't even have shares to short because you have to get loan shares from someone to actually short them. But generally the large stocks like Bank of America or stocks in the S&P 500, there will always be shares that you can short, especially if you're kind of doing a small size. Now, just like going long shares in Thinkorswim, there are plenty of ways to short shares. One way is right on the chart, just right clicking and doing sell and that'll just open up a short position. And you can see right there, I just shorted 100 shares at about 24 and a half, and that'll be on my account now. And another way is actually in the trade tab, we can just go in here and go to Bank of America, and you can click on the bid, and that'll bring up a trade here. And again, the main thing is you wanna see that it'll say sell and minus 100 shares. And if you had positive shares in your account, like let's say plus 100, this would be a closing position. But if you had zero shares in your account, this would be opening a short position. So you definitely wanna keep track of if you already have shares or positions open in the current stock to see what you're actually doing. But for this case, we would be shorting another 100 shares if we just clicked on this. And so we'd wanna go over here, check to see if it's a limit day, confirm and send that and that'll go in and then we'll get filled pretty quickly. So another way that I definitely really like to do it is actually on the active trader tab. 
And so that's just on the right over here. So if you're unfamiliar with the trader tab, I'll link a video explaining more details on it right up here. But right now, a quick way to short this is either, you know, sell market up here or you can create sell limits over here. And so because this says we're 200 short, we can just add another shares up here and that'll only sell it if it's up there. But if we want to get filled right away, we can come right down to the market price and get filled right away. Now, of course, to close these, because we are minus 300 shares, we're going to have to go plus 300 shares to get that neutral position and close out this short position. So if I want to do that, I'm going to come up here and do plus 300 shares and then do buy market just to get that filled right away. And you can see that right here, it's plus 300 minus 300. And then our position here is flat. And one thing about shorting is unlike going long, when you buy shares, it takes the exact amount of how many shares you bought. So let's say you bought one share at $100. Well, it's going to cost you $100 to do that. But because you're shorting, it's actually gonna cost margin. And so that'll cost sometimes a little different. So it might cost really similar to when you're buying it, but also sometimes it can cost a little less or a little more depending on the risk that the broker sees and how much just collateral they wanna take for that trade. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you wanna learn more about the Thinkorswim platform or just trading in general, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below.